All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make toasted buttered Cheerios. I've got my ingredients. I've got regular Cheerios. They aren't frosted or anything, just regular Cheerios. I like using a metal mixing bowl because obviously it won't burn the plastic. These Cheerios are going to be pretty hot. I've got two pans. I'm going to set them on high. And I've got butter. You don't have to have salted butter because obviously you're going to be seasoning anyway. So I've just cut a couple of cubes. I'm just going to stick those in each of the pans here. Get the butter going. You don't have to cook on high if you don't want to. I just like starting on high. Get that butter melted. Get the pans nice and hot. All right, once the butter is completely melted, it'll take a couple of seconds here. That's when you dump in your Cheerios. But you want to be quick. You don't want the butter to get all soaked on just a few of the Cheerios. You may want to get a fan going, too. I'm going to avoid the fan just for the video, but I've got all my windows open. Because you are going to have a lot of just smoke from the butter and from the pans being hot if you cook on high. Like I was saying, you don't have to cook on high. I just prefer it because I don't like to wait. That's why I do two pans. So the technique that I use, I mix back and forth. I'll dump in new Cheerios, mix it, and then get it in the mixing bowl. So that I evenly toast and evenly distribute the butter. And you obviously can just put in whatever seasoning you want as you go or at the end. I'm going to put some in now, though. Okay, so I just added in the pink Himalayan salt and the tahini. That's what I like to put on mine. Obviously, you want to work fast. You don't want to burn that butter. And the butter is disgusting and you start getting all that smoke. So I've turned the temperature way down to like four. So it's just warm now. And then you're going to go ahead and dump in your Cheerios. But like I said, you want to move stuff around and mix it around so that the butter doesn't get stuck on just a couple of your Cheerios. So get them in there. And grab yourself something to mix with. Start mixing those around. It's okay if a couple fly out. That's probably going to happen. You can just clean up after. Get them mixed. And you can shake your pans to mix too. You don't want to get them stuck to the pan. The key is to kind of keep stuff moving. And keep everything evenly buttered and flavored and also evenly toasted this way so if you're still cooking on high you can but you really only need to cook on like five or six about halfway just keep the heat on there keep it constant and keep moving stuff around and they'll turn out much better you can also go back and forth to your bowl mixing bowl once you've got a few mixed so you don't get anything burning. Okay, so I've gone ahead and just, let me kill the fan there. The fan's kind of loud, let me get the other fan. Just aired out some of that butter smoke. And I've moved to one pan, because now I'm just gonna do all the toasting now that I've evenly distributed the butter. And you can do that in one pan, you just wanna keep moving stuff so that you're not burning them. And that's it, that's pretty much how you cook it. Then you season, to taste and you just get them nice and warm get them nice and toasted and you serve it like popcorn that's it that's how you make buttered toasted Cheerios one more thing I wanted to add at the end of the video here is I like to serve them in a cup obviously you're not going to use a styrofoam cup because these are hot you're dealing with hot stuff here you just scoop them up that way it's not real easy to spill if they're in a bowl a bowl can spill pretty easy cups are nice Fill them just half full so nobody has a problem spilling and serve them that way. All right, here is buttered Cheerios for everybody. Okay. All right, yeah. take one. Thank you. Thank you. All right, thank you. Enjoy.